everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am in Zionsville, Pennsylvania at Zionsville Antique Mall. It's right on Route 100. Let's go inside and see what they have. Here's a cute little uh, basket or tray. It's made out of pine needles. Isn't that nice? It's $85. Here's a really old Chinese box. It has all of this uh, inlay, mother of pearl. And it's uh, $375. It's pretty. It has some wear and tear on it. It's, it's old, but it's really nice. These little signs up here, they're from phys ed class from an elementary school in the 1960s. Trot like a pony, jump like a kangaroo, slide like a seal, and twist like a snake. <laughs> Remember those? I found some bags of ephemera. For, it's only $4 a bag. Um, I have a suitcase, so I'm flying home. So I could, this is something that I can buy and take it home safely. Yeah, that old filing cabinet. Isn't that great? It looks like a card catalog. It's $1,600 firm. Here's a Yadro figurine. They're made in Spain. And this is a girl holding a globe. This one here is $200. It's one of these decanters from the mid-century modern and they have the ship etched into it. I see these a lot, but they never have the little glasses. This set here has the glasses with it. Here's an Eichholt paperweight. They want $98 for that. what I found. They're penguin bookends. They have $300 on those. Aren't they fantastic? There's two of them here. I really like the way this booth is styled. A lot of primitives in here. We are in Pennsylvania, so this is a primitive uh, style state, especially Eastern Pennsylvania. It's very old. Isn't this slag glass just gorgeous? It, they have $895 on it. I found a booth that's very affordable. I was in here last year and I got a bunch of things out of this booth. But this I think I'm going to buy. This here is a hat pin holder and it's only $3. I'll get that. Like this pottery right here. This pottery is only $9. This pottery is six, but I'm going on an airplane, so I can't get that. And then they have some, now this little picture that it, here is a Williamsburg piece of pottery, but these here are reproductions of the of Williamsburg, the salt glaze. But if you really like that look, and it doesn't matter to you, of the maker, it's, it's really, affordable. And she has some old dolls here. If you're if you're a doll collector, that doll right there is only three dollars. That one as well. And these two down here are only five dollars. Look at this. I come to Pennsylvania to find a, a crate about in the Indian River. This here is a Florida stamp and Melbourne, Florida is right along the Indian River. Isn't that funny? Here's one of these yo-yo quilts. My mom had started making one when my sister was a baby and she never finished it. So when my mom passed away, my sister got the quilt. And this one, they are asking $165 for that. Cool. I love what they did with this old cabinet. It has, I don't know if it was made like this or they made it to look like this, but it has this glass door and they put a light in here. It's a great display piece. Look at that. And I love those little bottles up on the top shelf there. That's nice. I don't know what this vase is, but I really like it. It is um, hand blown. You can see the Pontal scar there on the bottom. It's hand painted 
and it does glow under black light. Let me look here. I'll get it out for you. And my phone, I lost signal here. I'm in a, in a room that has very low signal, so I did take a picture of it. I'm going to try and Google that later. They have a set of this Lefton canister set. They have $95 on it with a green slash, and here they have 25% off all green slash tags. It's a shame, that's not gonna fit in my luggage. That's a really beautiful hand-painted chest right there. They want $400 for that. And this also caught my eye, that picture set. It's a mid-century modern. It has the pot, sugar creamer, and the four mugs. Look at this old cast iron dinner bell. It's when you hang on the side of a, a porch or side of a building and you ring it for, for dinner. This, let me see what the tag says here. A cast iron horse porch bell, $95. It's hand painted. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Here's a beautiful dresser set. It's a Victorian piece. Now some of it's worn because it's old. It's old milk glass. It's 12 pieces for $36. Comes with the both of these decanters and then these little boxes here there's two of those this one looks like it's cracked down the middle but then these little uh, plates this, there's another little lid uh, I don't know powder box trinket dish that yeah, pretty here's an old paper doll set has the doll and all the little clothing for $4.25. I think I'm gonna get that too. I really like these old baskets on the wall here. Look at this booth, it's very primitive. That fireplace, it's just a fake fireplace, but what a nice piece in the, to add to a booth. Cabinet back there is real nice. Look at this old pie safe. You see a lot of this stuff up here in Pennsylvania. This one here is 565. Here's some local tins. Tom Sturgis pretzels and Bachman pretzels are here locally in Kutztown. Uh, the birch beer. Here's some TV guides from the 1950s, 1954 to be exact. And then they have the one with um, I Love Lucy on it. I never saw them this old before. This beautiful mid-century modern lamp. It comes with the shade for $135. Oh, I love the color. Tell you what, that mall is really great. Every booth was fantastic. It's nice and clean in there. It's decorated nicely. The staff is friendly. This is a good place to come if you're in the area. I'm going to give you a haul in a few minutes, so please stick around. Bye-bye. Okay, so here's my haul for today. These were these grab bags. I, I bought five of them. I thought I only had four, but apparently I had an extra one in my hand and didn't realize it. But I opened up two of them just so you can get an idea of what's in them. This one here has some postcards. And this here is, oh, what is this? Dan oh, it's, your, it's a dance book. In class of 1938. That's when girls would have a book and then they'd write their names in them to whoever they wanted to dance with. Interesting. I never saw one of those before. Here's a... Um, Read the Rural New Yorker. That's okay, that's an advertisement for the uh, uh, newspaper. What's this? A book of general information quizzes. Interesting. And then here's another one. Here's a photograph. Here's, a, here's one too that's open. This is a little cookbook for Chinese food. There's a card. 
trying to do this one-handed. It's not easy. It was held together with little clips. Now, here's the uh, World's Fair in New York City. Some pictures. Al Sana, the Order of Alhambra. I have no idea. I don't know what this is. Um, some photographs. Some Viewmaster slides. And this here is a box. It's a leather box. If you pull this up, it opens into a, a box. And then I, I got these TV guides. If you open it up, you can see that it's only like three channels. And then I got these paper dolls. They look old. And then I got this. This is a hat pin holder. Now I'm going to be looking for hat pins. And then I got this. This here it holds jewelry. Now I'm probably just going to sell this, but it was only $3. So I thought somebody can use it. And then I got this purse. Um, I'm not sure if this is real fur or not, but it was only $3. There's no maker in it. It's probably a Chinese piece. But I, I like it. It's, it's, it's nice. Somebody will want it. Okay, well, that's what I got for today. But I got two weeks worth of shopping to do yet. And so thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I need to get my channel going. I'm almost at my requirements to get monetized. So I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.